The only smile on a man's face, similar to that on a woman's face on the day of our wedding, is when he finds a high paying job. Marriage is not an achievement, ladies, and it shouldn't be the reason why you guys are happiest on wedding dates. This mentality of yours is the reason we have many gender-based organizations, policies, and feminist movements seeking to give women a better position in homes. What is marriage? Marriage to me is not the legalization of sex for men or the addiction to the gift of money and anything that begins with letter M for women. Marriage in two words is partnership. You bring, I bring. You contribute, I contribute. You care, I care and friendship always there for each other in times of sickness in times of sorrow and in times of joy until death do you part all of the problems regarding a woman in her home arises when she chooses to follow her primitive mammalian brain a brain designed for reproduction and licensed to enjoy all the toys of her male companion when a woman treats her marriage as an achievement she forgets that marriage is a partnership and a friendship and assumes the role of a mini queen of England wanting her husband at her beck and call. Of course, his dopamine driven brain will do as you command until he gets tired and rebels. The next thing is you become a liability to your husband like Africa is to the world. Like Africa, you are well endowed with resourcefulness and talent you can exploit. You depend on your greedy husband to explore and exploit you at the same time and share the proceeds with you equally, which will never happen. You will always get less because you cannot do it for yourself. And because you cannot provide for yourself, you become very tolerant and dependent. You prefer to succumb to his jibby jabba in the morning and his blah 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 at night. To complain and hope for a better tomorrow which never comes because the thought of doing it by yourself is more painful than the ill treatment you get. I am not a married expert or an expert on home-based gender violence but I have observed many couples to know what I'm talking about and the most outstanding couples to me was my dad and mom. My future wife must resemble my mom in many ways. From the many conversations I overheard between my mom and her ever complaining and envious friends, they mostly complained about cheating husbands, stingy husbands, drunk addicts, angry men, that they have become nagging wives, etc. The take home message here is their closing remarks. It went like this. He was not like this when we got married. He has changed completely. And to me, I was like, he has changed completely because you have decided not to change, but to follow your mammalian instincts, to be self-centered and expecting your partner to be selflessly devoted to you. The whole point of making this video is to remind the so-called housewives that housewifery is not an occupation because your job description, which is to question your husband on details about his day at work, who he met, who his secretary is for you to sex the gender brings only chaos to your home. You don't work, you don't contribute in paying the bills, you are the highest consumer and the least contributor. Who wants your kind for a wife? Go get a job and let feminist movement be. While I am strongly against home-based gender violence and a strong advocate for women's rights, I hate to see a man being punished at the hands of a feminist judge for the crime his wife committed. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a like and do consider subscribing.